Do you know anyone who's dealing with depression, anxiety, mood swings, hormone problems, gut issues? Well then, you need to hear this video because today we're gonna to talk about seven foods that are going to feed the brain and heal the gut. Yes, we're gonna cover some major territory here. So today it's all about healing the gut and feeding the brain with some healthy food for the brain. I'm Annette Reeder, the Biblical Nutritionist, and I'm on mission to keep you on mission. It is my desire to help you boost your mood with healthy foods, to help your digestive system be healthy. So yes, we are definitely going to cover seven of the best foods to heal your brain, seven of the best foods to heal your gut, and guess what? They're the same seven foods. So we're gonna talk about that today. I hope you're enjoying these videos, and please leave a comment down below what topics you'd like me to cover because everything that I teach is going to be about foods that God has given us, that he has gifted us with to help our bodies to feel good and then to enjoy the food. I had the Bible study, the Treasures of Healthy Living Bible study, and it is worldwide. We, we have that Bible study, as far as we know, we don't always know everyone who purchases the Bible study and teaches it in their churches and their small groups, but we do know it's been in New Zealand, South Africa, Europe, Canada, Mexico, and of course the United States. So you might wanna check out that book. I'll put a link to it down below, The Treasures of Healthy Living Bible Study. Okay, in that Bible study, we talk about three principles. So all of the foods today are going to be included in those three principles. So you need to check out that Bible study to find those three principles. So we're looking at foods that are going to boost our mood, that are just gonna help us feel better about who we are, feel better in, in our digestive system, and then we'll have a better brain. We're just gonna feel amazing. So I'm just gonna briefly cover these today. So the first one, actually, I'm just gonna look over here. This is my, my herbs that I've cut from my yard. I've got some basil, some mint, and some echinacea. And so you could use these leafy greens. So leafy greens, are really good for helping your brain and your gut to heal. When the gut is healed, it connects to the brain through the axis and you think better. When your brain feels better, your gut is better. Okay, so it's a definite combination. So the first one is gonna be leafy greens. We're getting a lot of fiber, we're getting a little bit of protein, but we're getting rich vitamins, vitamins E and several other vitamins to help us to feel better. Okay, so we also have nuts. So this jar is how I store my walnuts in the refrigerator or the freezer, depending on how much I have on hand. The oils in these nuts, I do not want, I, well, let me just tell you what I do want. I want raw nuts. I don't want anyone touching these nuts before I eat them. I don't want them salted, I don't want them roasted, I just want raw nuts. That way I get the greatest nutritional value out of the foods that God get, has given us to eat. So nuts are gonna give us some rich oils for our diet, which we need. It's gonna give us some rich protein and some fiber. So covers two of my main things. Okay, next is apples. And I told you in another video, which you can catch that right up there, Apples, eating one apple a day, organic, it has to be organic. I know, they're more expensive. But when you understand how hard it is to grow fruits and how much pesticides are required, you understand why we have to eat organic. And you also understand why it costs more. So apples have what's in them is called a resistant starch, and that doesn't get digested very well until the colon, and then it helps to grow healthy bacteria and to feed the bacteria, which then gives you B vitamins, which means be happy, okay? So we need a lot of resistant starch, so we need one organic apple in our diet per day. Next, we have pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds are amazing for your digestive tract and for your brain. I've done other articles about pumpkin seeds being healthy for the prostate. So men, you need your pumpkin seeds. Just eat them, just eat them like they're peanuts, okay? So this is just how I store my pumpkin seeds here. Very important for your diet. Fish oils are going to be, this is just some canned wild salmon. And so this, we try to have once a week on Saturdays for lunch, we have salmon patties. And it is the only food that I actually fry, but we actually like our salmon patties fried, but they're really good in the air fryer. And so that's the ideal way of making your salmon patties. But this is gonna give us more of the fish oils, it's gonna give us the omegas, and it's gonna help our brain think better. Okay, so this is my dehydrated kale, which would go along with my 
the leafy greens for a healthy diet. Then we move on to berries, whether it's berries or grapes. We need the antioxidants, we need the flavonoids, we need everything good that's in a berry, the fiber, to help our brain and our digestive system to heal. And two more things, let me go to this one next, lentils. Lentils are essential in your diet. Everyone should have lentils. Okay, now I love lentils, so for me it's not a big deal, but if you could at least have them once a month, if you're not a fan of them, once a week if you love them. That's what I would suggest. Lentils actually are very similar in how they also create kind of a resistant starch, which means our body's not going to break it all down, but our, the bacteria is gonna feed off of it and therefore pay rent for staying within our body. So you can look at it that way. It's just gonna make you feel better. Hormones are gonna love lentils, remember that. And then last but not least is the chocolate. You need some raw cacao in your diet. Now this one's only a 70% chocolate, dark chocolate. I really prefer if you get the 80 to 90%. Uh, my husband does not care for that high of a percentage of dark cocoa or cacao, however you wanna say it, uh, but it, it would be the most beneficial for you. I do not buy it under a 70, because then you're just adding lots of sugars and other flavorings and other additives, and then we are reducing the value of this food for our hormones, our gut, and our brain. So there you have it, just seven of my favorite foods that I wanted to share with you that are going to help you have a healthier brain and help you have a healthier gut. Therefore, that's gonna cut back on depression, anxiety, hormone issues, digestive issues, blood pressure issues, you name it, it's going to help you feel better. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. That's so important to us. If you subscribe down below, that's even more important because that tells us, hey, we're, we're giving you what you like. And it also tells Google that we're doing good. And the more Google likes what we're doing, which means the more you're sharing, commenting, liking, and subscribing, the more Google will share this with people. And we get to share with them that God loves them. So help me get the message out, whether it's about food or just about God's love. Help me share with others by sharing this video with three of your friends. And then leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'm Annette Reader, the Biblical Nutritionist, and I'm on mission for you.